Latest inflation figures released this morning show food costs remain at a 45-year high. The difference between January this year and January last year show particularly steep increases for some dairy products and eggs. For many people with special dietary requirements, the impact of the increase in food prices is even more acute. Eve Watson has been talking to a Barnstable mum whose daughter has celiac disease and cannot eat certain foods. <laughs> this is Olivia, full of life, happiness and even cake. Is that nice? But last year she was diagnosed with celiac disease and intolerance to gluten. The family's food bills have gone up by about 50% since then. We're struggling now as it is. Um, we're very lucky that we aren't at a point where we can say that we're in debt because there's lots of things that we can remove and give up before we become in debt. But it, we will have to start thinking about what we what luxuries we have. Mm. Celiac food blogger Sarah has seen a similar rise in prices. I think people are just really struggling to stick to a diet which is actually for their health and I've had people messaging me telling me that they're worried they're going to get unwell, that they are not going to be able to stick to it because they want to be able to feed their kids and that's just heartbreaking to hear that people are kind of putting themselves and their health in jeopardy just because they can't afford to eat. Do you want some? Meanwhile, Becca says reaching for the easier gluten-free choices is sometimes the only option. The easy things out of the freezer, the chicken nuggets and chips, the um, fish fingers and chips. I don't want to live like that, but that's... Unfortunately, because we've both got to work, and if things are getting worse, costs are going up even more, who knows where we'll be this time next year. And there's a number of dangers if people with celiac disease don't stick to their diet. A little less than a crumb can still affect people. They can get digestive symptoms. Some can get things like abdominal pain, bloating, diarrhea, be very unwell. Some can get nausea, sickness, but they can also get non-digestive symptoms. And this is the important thing to understand. A lot of people can, can get a lot of fatigue, headaches. They can get joint pain. According to Celiac UK, at least one in 100 people in the UK are affected by the disease. As prices continue to rise, more families like Olivia's will be impacted. Do you hear Eve Watson, BBC Spotlight.